Hey everyone, welcome to the Horror Show, I'm Cecil Laird. I'm Andrew Mercer. Back to finish up the horror trailers from E3. Um, we have uh, four left, so we're going to cruise through them real quick. Um, we're going to start with Metro Exodus. Oh yeah. Oh, we have Devil May Cry 5 also. Yeah. Alright, we'll throw see. that one in there. Alright. So. Here we um, go. Yeah, five. We'll, mm, there we go. Let's make sure the thing's on. Alright, so Metro Exodus sure in three, two, on. right. <laughs> it wasn't, thank you. All right, so here we go. In three, two, one, go. Oh, international best-selling novel, Metro 2030. Mm -hmm. That's fast. That's In fast. game from a single level. When the skies rained missiles, and the ground burned to ash. Hmm. Okay. And the I played the first two games. I really liked them. people turned into shadows. Okay. So let us not fear the heretics at our door. Even with their iron steeds standing before us, stinking of machine oil and shining its heretical mm. light upon us. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. We will not falter. Post apocalyptic Let us Russia. Steal ourselves against them. For this is our hour of glory. Let's move out, Artyom. Game, yeah, off the game, just to keep the sound off so we don't get the copyright. Yeah, we did enough. So apparently, there's some kind of mask that you need to wear for radiation. Yeah, because there's radiation in a lot of different places. Oh boy. And then you gotta do nice. stuff like that to those crazy maniacs. All right. Oh, that was a regular guy. That's oh, a giant that's shark cool. thing. <laughs> that's nice. a winged de devil. Oh man, he's probably got you. Oh jeez, okay, well, a lot of cool that, creatures, that man. A catfish that's been mutated. Look like it. That's cool. Nice. I play this game. Oh yeah. Ah oh, yeah. Lots of cool creatures. Oh, you could take him as prisoner, maybe. I don't know. Could you take him as prisoner? All right, now they're getting crazy. Oh, snap oh, his snap. neck. Blow him up. Kick the door in. Uh oh, what's he doing? He's hiding himself. <clears throat> oh. He jumped out of train. Alright. Exodus. Alright. Exodus. Uh the trailer looks okay. Um, Are you adding this right now? Yeah, it looks okay. It looks okay. Alright. What about you? Um, I'd probably play the story one time, get it from a red box, play the story one time, be done with it. Yeah, um, me too. The story does look cool. It kinda look the creatures and all that stuff, it looks cool, but um, the guns, I don't necessarily think I would want to play it from a multiplayer aspect because the guns don't look too super insane. No, they, they look fit cobbled the together, kind of, yeah. And I think that that's good. Everything with the story it works, so play the story once and that's it. But mm -hmm. Again, the day and age now of where you pay 60 bucks for that is crazy. Yeah. I'll pay 60 bucks for a game that I'm going to play either every day or I'm going to play expansions of and DLCs of and stuff like right. that. So, um, sell it for 30 and I'll buy it. <laughs> all right um yeah i kind of agree it's not i it'll it'll be 60 i guarantee I know, you it'll, it'll be 60. be 60 um and all but i will do what you're gonna do i will red box it and um i'll pay a dollar 50 or whatever it is 250 for a few days and and spend 10 bucks total and get it done instead of spending 60 bucks on it so it looks great there I, I there's no really no fault uh that i can i can be like oh that's why i'm not paying for it i just I, I'm not into the series enough, maybe, or whatever. Um, guess I should have had it going the whole time. That's all good. Whatever. Like I said, it looks great. We were complimenting the looks on it and all that stuff while we were going through it. Um, the gameplay interaction looks good. Uh, it doesn't look too clunky. Uh, you're able to, you know, kick these things off of you as they're trying to kill you and all that stuff. Um, 
Yeah. It looks like you could assemble your gun real quick. It looks like you might be able to swap out parts and stuff. Well, I was about to say modifications. If all of a sudden you're going to a long-range battle and you have, you know, your assault rifle for mass killing, you put a scope on it, you put a longer barrel on it, uh, cool. and a bigger or a shorter magazine or something like that. Uh, hmm. Well, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. So um, let's move on to the next one real quick. Um, we're going to go to... Scale 1 to 10, what would you give it? Uh, six and a half. Six and a half. Yeah. I I would give it like a seven point eight. Really? Wow. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. All right. I want to hey, see more. I want to see give more. Give us on the uh, the comments on that one. Throw throw Metro Exodus in the comments along with all the other ones we watched. Yeah. But yeah. We're kind of up and down on that one. So you tell us what you think. Exactly. Uh, we're gonna jump into Devil May Cry Five. Now the only Devil May Cry I've ever played was DMC Devil DMC. May Cry, which I actually really liked. Um, but we'll see what this one looks like. Alright, I can dig it. Sounds very piano-y. Oh, okay, it was just this. Trench. We've known each other a long time. Oh, oh shit. The line. The line. Damn. Whoa. Oh, shit. Damn. You never had this much trouble. Oh, my Are you gonna God. Make through this? Capcom. Nice pedigree. <clears throat> what the hell's going on? People are gonna get a copyright on this too. Oh, maybe. Hey, you have to hit every single bump in the road. Anytime my head's knocking, yeah, we're probably getting a copyright. All right, so it looks like you got a male female combat. I mean, you're going to just play as Dante. Yeah, yeah. Seems like a modern Dante, too. With a power glove. <laughs> He's got a power glove. I still, I like horror hack oh and slash. Oh my god. She seems like a fun character. I, I, we can't see what she's saying right now because <laughs> of copyright shit. It's just a horror hack and slash, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, it does look like a big horror hack and slash. Oh, I'm gonna stop time on your ass. What? No chit chat or monologue? Just getting right to the point, huh? Nice. That's a dope creature. All right, mm. so he's be sassy. This is like uh, Dante turns into Deadpool. <laughs> Dang, did he just feed a car to his stomach mouth? Kind of. A creature? Okay. Dude, this is that's kind of what it feels. Does that not feel proper? What would you say again? Uh, Dante meets uh, Deadpool. Yeah, well, Dante was always kind of snarky. snarky. Yeah, but just the way he looks. and Oh, they took his hand, see? Yeah, that's funny, yeah. So that's why he's got to get the cyber glove. Uh... I don't know. What do you think? Would you start with the fifth game? I mean, oh Jesus, uh, that's the thing. I got it's the a fifth game. I got a buddy that would hate me for it. So <laughs> what do you I, mean? He's played three and four. Mm. He'd be like five, man. Go ahead and play three and four, man. Mm -hmm. God, everyone says that. No, every game should be able to be an entry point for a new well, gamer. It looks great. Um, if you like the, uh, it seems open world hack and slash with uh you know crazy monsters and not you know mob bosses or real people um you get to you know take things out that are eight stories tall and have uh, apparently tails that can uh incapacitate that's anything awesome, in anyone though. that's god of war stats. well and then you got you know brain man over here with 30 eyes in his chest um <laughs> I don't know. I, I like that that outlandish style set in the real world. You know, this crazy mm -hmm. post-apocalyptic. Anything can happen. The chick again. The chick is gonna be probably my favorite character, and I can't hear anything she's saying <laughs> because of the awesome music that they made. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's all right. So, all right. So, Devil May Cry uh, Five. We're into, um, but I still don't think I buy it. Out of ten. Uh, can't seven. Give this, give this a seven. Seven. Give this more than Metro Exodus. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. I like I like horror hack and slash. I like a lot of creatures. But, I yeah. I'd still give it the I I give it seven point seven point eight. I, it's <laughs> exactly the same. Exactly right? okay. the same. All right. Well, that's Devil May Cry five. Let's move on to, um, we'll do transference, whatever that is. Okay. 
I mute it. What's going on? There we go. Ah, why? No catchy music, Ubisoft. Dad? Just God damn it. Just What's going on? Okay. Hmm. It's kind of weird. Just the audio is kind of weird. Here's mom. You're going to sit here real soon, okay? Just hold still. Don't breathe. This is lies. Hmm. What the fuck is going on? We'll be sorry. Are you comfortable? I know this rig's a bit cumbersome, but that's always the way with these new prototypes, huh? This is cool. And all you have to do is just... Just be. I know things haven't been so great lately, okay? So I do. Ben. I've been a lousy father. I'm huh? unable. Lousy husband, too. You should go to sleep. Hmm. You've seen how rotten that's gotten, huh? But all that is gonna change. We're all gonna be together. All of our hard work reverse the process. All of our sacrifices? Hmm. That's my gift to you. To us. Help me! Help me! Please! Oh wow. Damn. Dad? Why are you doing this? I love you. Son. I love you with all of my heart. What the hell? Huh. This is weird. This dude. looks awesome. Dude, I am into it. This is weird. Oh, it's a VR game. VR. Okay. I was thinking that, uh, that it felt that way. It seems very... That this, looks this awesome. Looks the good. digital bad guy coming down the, the hallway at you with the, the pixels and stuff? Know. I feel like this might have like a Lego, Lego movie aspect where the dad's the bad guy. Well, I think so, too. Yeah. I mean, if he can... Either that or, like, maybe his son died and he recreate. He's, like, working on recreating his son's consciousness or something like that. There's got to be... There's an issue with the mom. The mom's not happy. Hmm. That's cool. I like this. Uh, it's all right. I'm into it. I like these kinds of games. I've been enjoying the VR stuff we've been doing. Um, so I, I might, I'm on board okay, for this. Okay, all right, all right. Let me give you the, 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 the immersive breakdown here. <laughs> so... I might try this, but if I try this and it ends up being a walk around and just interact with stuff, mm -hmm. I'm going to kind of be mad because yeah. everybody's done that. And if the story isn't well, good it's enough. Not, yeah, well, the, maybe the story will be good enough, though. Not not but, all again, VR games okay. are, are good at, like, fighting and interaction and stuff I will like have that. to get to the end of the game in order to know. Mm. So if you can interest me enough to want me to get there, then, and I think they've done that. I, I do kind of want to see what happens in this. But I also have this sneaking suspicion that it's just going to be a walk around and interact with stuff game. And well, I'll do a Let's Play and I'll let you know. They're gonna, well, they're probably going to charge you an arm and a leg for it. Yeah, we'll it's see. It's annoying. I, I, I don't know. They need to figure this stuff out. <laughs> because for two hours of gameplay and, and story and that's it and no replayability, they want you to pay 60 bucks for No, it? no. Most VR games like this end up being 30 or 40 so <laughs> evil laugh over there sorry all right well that's transference um i'm on board for it i like the idea i think it looks cool and i want to see more out of ten mm, eight eight out of ten I'll i give this, give this a seven even seven all right, so we're going to do this, and then we're going to end with one I've been wanting to watch a lot. So go here we go. Mine. This is Wolfenstein Youngblood, which um, I don't know if it's a full game or if it's just sort of an add-on to Wolfenstein 2, but here we go. Copyright. I just copyright. I mean, it's, it's everything's going to be... I mean, this looks like... Children. No, it looks like this was made for the trailer. All right, good. I've been fighting all my life for this world. So that's... Yeah, that's that's the voice of the protagonist from the first two games. But I heard he's not the guy though. They're gonna send everything. Oh, they it's Rocky. You. I've beat the Russians before. Five, you have to I can do it again. Suffering. So you're his kid, huh? Because he's talking to his kid. Just stand up and carry it. It's not about the pain you can deal. About how much you can take. Kids. Yeah! It's Double dragon. 
Just like Papa taught us. Damn. Okay, yeah. so you're the two daughters. The two daughters wreaking havoc. Interesting. Okay. All right, cool? we didn't get much with that, no, so that's no. all right. A that little cool? reveal trailer. It's a reveal trailer, so I'm on board for that. Cool, cool concept. Yeah, well, I still have to finish Wolfenstein 2. It's taking a while because it's been glitching on me, but um, mm. I still like the Wolfenstein. I like It's crazy over-the-top kill Nazi action. So, All Not right, bad. so the last horror game trailer out of E3 2018 that we need to do it's... is the remake of Resident Evil 2. Here it is, dude. You've been waiting. We give it to you. I love the Resident Evil games, and 2 was always one of the best. We're like a rat right now. Yeah, it seems like it, isn't it? Hello? Anybody there? We're like a little rat. Something's not right. Is that a PlayStation 1 in front of you? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> That's hilarious. Good call. It's an homage, because it came out on the one. Relax, relax. Everything will Jesus I Christ. guess so. I don't know. Money's in my account. Always a pleasure. It's still spinning. Attention, right? all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. Whatever it takes to save this city. Surprised you made it this far. Need info on my extraction. Yes. Survival's your responsibility. God damn it. Will you help me? Of course. It's an impressive display of strength. <laughs> but we never meant for this to happen. Oh, wow. It's coming. It's coming back. Damn, I don't really remember it that well. Yeah, I really will too. Do. Yeah, I don't really remember the game that well. I don't, but I know I know I played it, and I just have so many new things to play. I doubt I'll oh take the time God. to replay it. It went from super hype. To I know. The wind out of the sails. I don't know. I, I, I just was like, uh, it didn't blow me away Gra graphics wise, like oh. I thought it was going to. Like, no, it didn't. No, nope. Okay. I'll stick with the. I'll stick with Days Gone. I you like would play one. Resident Evil 7 30 times before you played that game. I still haven't finished Resident Evil 7. I need to finish it. All right, well. So, All yeah, right. I'll out stick with that. Out of 10. Uh, five. Oh. Five. What about you? I say six. <laughs> six is 6.2, maybe, just to give them a little bit of credit. It doesn't look bad. Can't blame you. Uh, but when you make a game, when you remake a game that really has been irrelevant for so long, what are you really doing? Yeah, I don't know. But. Doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? All they right. tried. Well, there you go, guys. That's going to do it for our reactions to all the horror trailers from E3 2018. Uh, let us know in the comments down below what you thought of them. Uh, thanks very much to our patrons. 
who are supporting the channel um please feel free to click the link in the description box down below if you want to become a patron and ask us to review particular movies or do commentaries or things like that so thanks very much for watching uh i've been cecil laird i am andrew mercer and remember stay, stay scared, scared.